In this module, you will learn about the Indian judiciary. You might have seen this statue in movies or in a book. This is Justitia, the goddess of justice that personifies judicial systems across the globe. In India, the judiciary is an independent body that plays a critical role in the functioning of the country. It has the sole right to make or break decisions without the interference of the government, which includes the legislature and the executive. This separation of powers ensures impartial, equal justice to all citizens of India. It also prevents influential people like politicians and members of parliament to manipulate the judiciary. Apart from resolving all disputes between citizens and the government at various levels, the judiciary is also the final interpreter of the constitution. It is also responsible for upholding and enforcing the fundamental rights for every citizen of the nation. If at any given time you feel your fundamental right, which includes freedom of speech or religion, to name a few, is violated, you can approach the court. The Indian judiciary is a three-tiered system with the Supreme Court at its helm officiated by the Chief Justice, the High Court at the head of state followed by the District and Sessions Court. The High Courts were established in the presidencies of Bombay, Calcutta and Madras in 1862 well before the Supreme Court. The day India became a republic on 26th January 1950 was when the Supreme Court was first established. The courts are connected with each other through the appellate system that exists in India. This means that if a person feels they have not been given justice in a lower court, like the Sessions or District Court, they can approach the High Court to relook at the case. If justice is still not met, the case is taken to the Supreme Court, where the final judgment is made. Most of the cases fall into two broad categories of the legal system. Criminal and Civil Law Criminal law deals with cases of assault, theft, murder, dowry and harassment. Whereas Civil Law deals with land disputes, property deals, divorce and rent agreements. Though the judicial structure in India seems well laid out and accessible to all, is it really easily accessible for all citizens in India? Not really. While it's easier for educated people like us, it's the poor that suffer the most. There's a lot of paperwork and money involved in court cases, making it close to impossible for a poor family to approach a court for justice. To add to this, a court hearing can spill over many years till a final judgment is made, making it impractical for a layman to approach a court. However, to combat this situation and increase the accessibility to justice, the Supreme Court introduced the Public Interest Litigation or PIL in the 1980s. This enabled a person who needed justice to file a PIL directly to the High Court or Supreme Court. The midday meal that children get in government schools is a result of a PIL filed. Despite some of the problems of the judicial system in India, as an independent body, it has played a key role in the functioning of the country and protecting the fundamental rights of the citizens. We have now reached the end of this module on the judiciary. In this module, we learned that the Indian judiciary is an independent body that plays a critical role in the functioning of the country. It is the final interpreter of the constitution and responsible for upholding and enforcing the fundamental rights for every citizen of the nation. The Indian judiciary is a three-tiered system with the Supreme Court at its helm, the High Court at the head of state, followed by District and Sessions Court. 
The appellate system exists in the Indian judicial system. The legal system is broadly divided into two categories, civil and criminal law.